Welcome back to By Release RuneScape Free Edition! I had a small break, but I'm back again with more, so let's just immediately start without any fanfare. Okay then, it's time for another KBD attempt. This time I've gone and uh, grinded myself up to level 60 with my melee stats. Besides strength, but that's a moot point. Uh, let's see. Let's just start real quick, because it will take a bit for him to join. Uh, and I hope that with tier 60 gear that we can defeat him. I do have overhead prayers for mage now as well, so that's nice. So let's just hope this will go a bit better. It's just a lot of standing there and eating, so let's get it over with. It's really gonna come down to the last bit of food, isn't it? Oh boy. It really is. Oh, come on! Yes! We did it! We did it! And we got a nice few bit of rewards. How nice. Let's get out of here real quick, because I definitely won't be able to kill it for the second time. But that's our first KBD kill. Our first boss slain with a bit of brute forcing. Let's just bury these bones. I know I should have probably done that on an altar, but I'm stubborn. <laughs> so yeah, that's KBD done. Let's get into the first quest of the day. Fishing contest. We want to befriend a set of dwarves so we can access the tunnel underneath White Wolf Mountain. To prevent them, we have to win a fishing contest. We get our supplies, cheat a little bit, and win the trophy. We then bring the trophy to the dwarves and gain access to the tunnel. Following that, we got Monk's friend. We come to the aid of a monk who can't sleep because of a missing blanket. We retrieve the stolen blanket and he asks us to find a monk who didn't return yet. Okay. Turns out the monk got drunk as fuck, so we help his dumbass repair the card he had with him and continue to party it up with all the monks. Next up, Temple of Ikov. A fella named Lucian asks us to retrieve the infamous staff of Armadil for him. Because we are dumb as fuck and don't see how shady he is, we accept. We proceed to go through some trials and tribulations to get to the temple, but we manage. When getting there and informing about the staff though, an Armadillian soldier knocks some sense into us and we side with them. We attempt to kill Lucian instead, but fail because ooh, spooky villain time. Clock Tower is gonna be a really short mention because it's just kind of a dumb quest. You just help a monk repair his clock tower. That that's it. That's the tweet. But he's got a weird basement full of weird shit and yeah, let's just move on. This is a bit of a beefy one, so uh hold on tight. Next up, Holy Grill. The continuation of the Camelot questline. King Arthur tasks us with the goal of finding the Holy Grail. After informing with a few people, we collect a set of items necessary to enter the Fisher King's realm. The king confesses to us that he is dying, fun, and is looking for a son to replace him on the throne. His son conveniently happens to be a member of the round table, so we ask King Arthur for his location and easily find him. After that, with the Fisher King's realm fully restored, we retrieve the Holy Grail and cash in on that sweet, sweet XP reward. And then finally, we get to Hero's Quest. I was pondering whether I would show this quest live or not since it's a fun little milestone and all, but in the end it's just a fetch quest. For the uninitiated, the quest starts with us being curious about the Heroes Guild. The lady at the front tells us we can enter if we fetch her three specific items. We go and gather these items with relative ease and gain entrance to the Heroes Guild. Next up, we help the gnomes in the Tree Gnome Village. The quest starts by speaking to the frazzled King Bulrun, who tells us the magical protection orb got stolen. We retrieve it for him, but return to find out two more have been stolen. We fight the big baddie, return the orbs, and gain favor with King Bulrun. Last but certainly not least, Fight Arena. Fight Arena is the simple tale of a family split apart. Lady Serval informs us of her son and husband who have been captured by the Khazard and pleads us to return them. We agree, and through a bunch of brute forcing our way through, we win back the rights to their freedom. You can walk away from the last fight, but I chose violence this day. And that is it for today, so thank you all for watching today, and hope to see you again sometime soon in the future, so yeah, bye bye <laughs>